Alright y'all, it's that time of week again. Um, if you've been following Izzy's comics for a while now, you know that I post the FOCs every Friday around this time. Um, so that that is the final order cutoff, last chance to put in those orders for the books that are coming out, usually about three to four weeks out. Um, around this time after FOCs, I usually get a text or a message from our uh, resident Poke Gym guy, Aaron. He um, usually asks me what he, what I, what if there's anything on that list this week that he should grab. So this is my picks for Aaron. This is episode three. Uh, we're gonna get right into it. So first one up from Image Comics. I'm a huge fan of Image Comics. Image Comics, I told you uh, a couple weeks ago, I would jump on everything that Image Comics is doing. Every number one ser for any series they're doing because they've announced they're not gonna be doing as many printings, extra printings uh, going forward because of the paper shortages. So you won't see a lot of second and third and fourth, all that kind of stuff. So they got a new number one coming out right now. It's called Step by Bloody Step. I actually really was really close to jumping on an exclusive for this series. Um, I am going to cool off on exclusives going forward for a little while. Um, this one is, it's a very, um, it's different, okay? So it's its all about the art, which I, if you've read Strings, Strings didn't, it didn't have a lot of words, but I uh, gave enough words to fill in the blanks. Um, but this one is kind of like that. It's a silent comic. There's no words in this comic, but it also plays into the storyline. Okay, so this is about an armored giant and a child uh, that are basically they're stuck with each other and they're walking the world. It's a dangerous world too. There's beasts and monsters and stuff that they have to fight along the way. And if they ever try to leave that path or whatever that they're walking on, the world says no and it stops them and makes them, get, you know, forces them somehow back onto the path. Um, and the way that the silent thing works is they're not, a, they, if they try to ask questions, they can't. They have no language, there's no memory of anything, they have nothing basically. So the, the silence of the comic is also the silence of them. Um, so there's, it's, it, it's a very, it's gonna, it sounds like it's gonna be a very unique, uh, very um, suspenseful type thing, trying to figure a lot of question marks probably. Um, there is a trailer on YouTube if you want to check it out. It looks pretty awesome. Um, it's being hyped by the likes of Jeff Lemire, uh, Scott Snyder, Mark Millar, lots of uh, lots of the greats in the in the industry are loving it, hyping it. So again, this one's one I think you should jump on. Step by Bloody Step number one. There's a couple covers for it. Um, I know there's a couple exclusives. Um, my friends over at Yellow Snow Comics have a gorgeous exclusive. Go check out their comic. Uh, their exclusive. Um, I love their cover. Um, so, um, again, step by bloody step number one. I'm going to give it four stars only because it, image is just unknown. Some of them are amazing. Some of them are not so much. Uh, this one has potential. Uh, it won't speak to everybody because it is going to be a fast read. You're just going to be looking at the art. No words to read, but looks like a fun and unique style. All right, next one I want to hit on. What if Miles Morales was Captain America? America. All right. Miles Morales, hot. I mean, they just announced, I just saw rumors that he's got, he's gonna be in Spider-Man 4. All right, so, um, Miles Morales anything right now is hot. I am not a fan of the suit that they put Miles Morales in, I will admit that. He looks just like, it looks like they just put a black guy in a generic Captain America suit. I think they could have done a little bit more with that, but it is Miles Morales. The only reason I'm not gonna spec hard on this one is it is a what if. So what ifs aren't always in, don't always play into the, the you know the canon or the MCU or any, any of the major storyline. So if this is just a what if one shot thing, there's not a whole lot to spec on other than it just being cool and Miles Morales and we'll hit a vision of them, a vision of him as Captain America. So again, I'll, I'll do I'll do three on this one, uh, three swords, just because like I said, there's there's no. No guarantee on this one, other than the fact that it's Miles Morales, a number one. Not, not doesn't hurt to grab anything with Miles Morales right now. Um, next one I want to hit on Strange number one. Okay, this is the new. Uh, you just we just had the death of uh, Doctor Strange, so now we have Clea is going to be coming. Is going to become the new uh, Sorceress Supreme. All right, so. The reason I'm specking on this one is they've already announced that there's going to be some new characters in, involved in this storyline. We got new villains coming for sure. I don't know if issue number one is going to have those new villains. They didn't say that. 
Uh, but it is issue number one. It's her first solo story as the new Sorcerer Supreme. She is trying to figure out a way to bring back the original Doctor Strange, of course. But until she can do so, she's taking the mantle and protecting the world as the new Sorcerer Supreme. Um, so there could be first appearances in any of the issues in this series going forward. So I'm gonna go with a five on this one, five swords, just because it is it, it has a lot of potential. Um, and you see the MCU right now is changing over the mantle, the color of the guard basically in all of the movies. No telling how long Benedict Cumberbatch is gonna stay stick around. Um, I love him as Doctor Strange, but if they end up if he ends up saying he wants to call it a day, uh, they could introduce her in the in the MCU as well. Uh, it's always a possibility, especially with the. The, the multiverse of madness coming, all the different, uh, different, you know, worlds, uh, different characters from different worlds that she could just show up because she's in the, the, the Doctor Strange in another universe. All right, so like I said, just spec on this one, five, I'm getting five swords. Again, this one has a ton of covers. Marvel's getting really bad right now about having good covers ready in time for FOC. So if you notice, I think the Scotty Young and the regular cover, the only thing that have a cover right now. So the other ones, you're kind of guessing if they're going to be cool covers or not. Um, so, um, don't know what, about that as far as covers, but just grab it. If you like an artist that's attached to one of the covers, it could be good. So again, five swords, a lot of potential here. Um, next one I want to hit on. Okay, so this one isn't a, I don't want to spec on this one, but if you are a werewolves, vampire, supernatural, um, story, horror, comic type nerd like I am, that's a, one of my big things is I love vampires. I love horror, like American Vampire Story is one of my favorite stories of all time. Anyways, Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia has been, it took a little bit of a break. Um, Philadelphia number 19 is on FOC this week. This is, this is a new story arc for the series and they're saying it's a good point for new readers to get involved in the story just in case you don't want to go back or you have no way to go back other than like trade paperbacks to, to read Philadelphia. You need to check this one out, okay? So Philadelphia is awesome. It is a very dark story. Um, it is werewolves, vampires, and the supernatural, of course. Um, it has the the writer is Barnes. Uh, he writes. Uh, he's wrote TV shows, Marvel's Runaways, um, stars American Gods. So there's a good chance he's writing this story to be something as well. So Philadelphia has been selling out. It's been a hot book for a while now. The artist is Jason Sean Alexander. Who does uh, Spawn? One of the one of the interior artists and cover artists for Spawn. Um, so this is a major, it's been a major book for a while. Um, there have been some amazing covers for this series as well. Uh, a lot of hot covers. Todd McFarlane's done some covers that were that did really well. This one has a really cool cover B. Um, you'll see it. It's got it's like a werewolf looking guy. Uh, it, it's cool. I, I just tell me it's a cool cover. Um, this is just a, a, a pick of the week for me that isn't necessarily for specking on, but it, it is a good place for to get people into the series now that uh, it's coming back strong again. Um, so again, do three. This isn't number one. It is a new story arc, but not number one of the series. I'm going to do three swords on it, but it is, a, it is a favorite of mine, and I think it should be something that people are checking out. If you can, go back to number one and start reading it. All right, last one I want to hit on is the artist appreciation of the week. I love to do an artist appreciation. I pick one cover every week that I think that you should look at. The, the one I want to hit on this week is the Department of Truth number 16. I don't need to help you out with Department of Truth at this point. We all know that it's one of the hottest series. It's going to have a TV show or a movie someday. Um, but Department of Truth 16 cover B, the variant is done by Allison Sampson. If you look at it, it's a super beautiful cover. Really bright colors, almost reminds me of like a Woodstock feel, uh, Woodstock poster. Um, so definitely check out Allison Sampson's cover B for Department of Truth. I'm not gonna sort this one because it's a, it's just my artist appreciation. Nothing to spec on, um, but love the cover. All right, again, this is my picks. I, I, I'd like to tell you all, there are plenty of other options out there. I know there's other Facebook channels, other YouTube channels, other people you can get your information from. So this is just my opinion of what you should pick up this week. And there are a lot more other things, but I'm not gonna hit on all of them. So uh, um, this is my picks for Aaron. Hopefully it helps you all out. Uh, I'm gonna just close by letting you know, just please like, subscribe, comment below so that we can, um, we can make this thing keep going. All right, take care.